Today I have decided to redo an ISI 2019 E-State DMAT UGB problem and the problem is prove that the positive integer n that cannot be written as a sum of r consecutive positive integers with r greater than 1 r of the form n equals 2 to the bar l for sum l greater than 0. Let us say we have R consecutive positive integers and the first term is a so we'll have terms like a plus 1 a plus 2 up to a plus r minus 1 we can write this sum as r by 2 2 a plus r minus 1 and this is equal to sum number n now we'll consider two cases case one when r is odd and second case when r is even when r is odd let r be of the form suppose 2k plus 1 so we can write this n as 2k plus 1 whole divided by 2 and then it will be 2a plus 2k or this n will be 2k plus 1 a plus k and clearly r is greater than 1 that means 2k plus 1 it is greater than 1 now we consider the second case when r is even so let r be 2k in that case we can write this number n as 2k by 2 2a plus 2k minus 1 now here 2 and 2 will cancel we can write this number n as k into now this is 2 a plus k minus 1. Now in both the cases what we can see is this number n has odd factor. So this 2k plus 1 it is odd and it is an equal to 1 and here also this 2a plus k minus 1 this is odd. So this n it must have n odd factor that means n must not be of the form 2 to the power a or it should not be of the form 2 to the power l now we have proved that this n it cannot be of the form 2 to the power l now if it is not of the form 2 to the power l and it has at least one odd factor so we can express this n as 2 to the power l into n where m is an odd number and n is greater than 1. So we have proved that any number which is of the form 2 to the power l cannot be expressed as sum of r consecutive integers. Now we need to prove that for all other integers that is all integers which are of the form 2 to the power l into m where m is odd number greater than 1 they can be expressed as sum of r consecutive integers. And that is the second part of the question. Now we are going to show that any number which is of the form 2 to the power l into m where m is an odd number greater than 1 it can be expressed as sum of consecutive integers. Now to prove this we will use a basic fact in AP which is if a1, a2, a3 and an it is an ap then arithmetic mean of numbers equidistant from beginning and end they are equal a2 plus an minus 1 by 2 and suppose 
this average is a and we know that sum of n terms of an AP it is given by n by 2 a1 plus an and this sn is nothing but it is n into a. So basically sum of these n numbers will be this n multiplied by their average. Now we will come back to our question. Now we need to prove that any number which is of the form 2 to the power l into m where m is odd and m is greater than 1 it is possible to have consecutive integers such that their sum it is equal to n. Now here we will consider two cases case 1 when this m is greater than 2 to the power of l plus 1. Now here what we will do is we know that Sn is n into a and we want the sum to be equal to n and this n it will be to the part l into n. So what we will do is we we'll let this as 2 to the part l plus 1 into m by 2 and m is an odd number. So this m by 2 it is not an integer. So we will construct an AP such that mean of terms from beginning and end it is m by 2 and since we are talking about consecutive integers so the middle two numbers they will be m minus 1 by 2 and m plus 1 by 2. So that is your A and this should be your N. So what we will do is we will take 2 to the power L numbers here and 2 to the power L numbers here. Now in this case this N it will be equal to total number of terms 2 to the power L plus 1 into its mean which is 2. So this m which is 2 to the power l into m can be expressed as a sum of consecutive integers. Now we will consider the second case when m is less than 2 to the power of l plus 1. Now in this case also we need this sum n a and it should be n to the power l into m. Now here what we will do is we will take m terms and we will take this as average. Now since m is odd, it will have middle term. So this 2 to the power l, so this 2 to the power l, it will be our middle term. So we will construct a series 2 to the power l, 2 to the power l plus 1, 2 to the power l plus 2 and here will be 2 to the power of l minus 1 containing m terms and in this case also this n it will be equal to 2 to the power l into m. So in either case this n which is of the form 2 to the power l into m can be expressed as sum of consecutive integers and this is what we need to prove in this question.